We need to ask you to rekindle a romantic relationship with Maria Butina and members of the FBI that you're sure were members of the FBI asked you to do this. And you know their names. And and I know their names. That is the now former CEO of Overstock.com, Patrick Byrne is his name. And he resigned as CEO following a strange press release that he put out, uh, claiming that he had a romantic relationship with Maria Butina. That is the uh, Russian spy who uh, failed to register as a foreign agent. And now she's spending some time in prison as a result. Now he suggested that uh, former FBI agent Peter Strzok and former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe and former FBI FBI Director James Comey directed him to engage in this romantic relationship with Butina. This whole story is out of control, it's crazy. And the interview that he had with Cuomo was crazy. But first, let me show you or read to you the press release that Overstock put out. You know, this was his direction, this is what he wanted them to do, and this is what the press release said. Starting in 2015, I, operating under the belief that I was helping legitimate law enforcement efforts, assisted in what are now known as the Clinton investigation and the Russian investigation. In fact, I am the notorious missing chapter one of the Russian investigation. So is this what happens under Trump, like everyone loses their mind? But Patrick Byrne has always been a little strange. I've interviewed him a couple of times. And he sounds like a rational actor and he's actually been in charge of Overstock.com for a long time and they've had good success. So obviously there's parts of them that are very rational, but but he always has bizarre things to say. And so this story is super weird on many levels. Yeah, it's about to get weirder, more from the press release. It was my third, it was the third time in my life I helped the men in black. This was an official press release, guys to investors. The first was when my friend Brian Williams was murdered. And the second was when I helped the MIB, meaning men in black, shape uh, shake up Wall Street a decade ago. Unfortunately, this third time turned out to be less about law enforcement and more about political espionage conducted against Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and to a lesser degree, Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. And then he continues- Why would people do espionage against Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump from the government? And Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. I, mean, I don't get any of this. What I mean, what had happened was that the rabbit <laughs> is the raven, and the raven is not the rabbit, and the eagle has landed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So enough from this crazy press release. Let's go to his interview with Chris Cuomo, and maybe that'll clear some things up. I don't know. The FBI wanted you to continue your association to get information. They never told you you needed to have a romantic relationship with somebody. Well, eventually, yes, they did. They told uh, no, they, you that you had to have a romantic that's relationship? What I'm getting, that's what I'm getting to, which is, uh, and it wasn't them, it's X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to tell you who, who they are. They said, and the very honorable men and women, the men in black, they said, we want to be clear. This never happens in the United States. We are the good guys. We're not, we don't work like the bad guys, but we need to ask you to rekindle a romantic relationship with Maria Butina and members and discover- of the FBI that you're sure were members of the FBI asked you to do this. And you know their names. And, and I know their names. And they said these orders are coming from the personal, this is being personally supervised by Y. And it's being per and at the request of X, and then two months later, they said Mr. Z has added his name. So to you these. believe that Jim Comey knew that you were being asked to do these things in the name of the United States government? Not only knew, I was specifically told this request is coming from Jim Comey at the request of somebody who I'm not going to name. Do not assume it's the president. Do not assume it's the pre- it was the President Obama. Do not assume that. Can okay, I, yeah. So look, you started with the Raven and da da da. He that was crazier. <laughs> it was like X, Y, and Z. And why why are you doing that? He's like, oh, the Men in Black. But we all know it's the FBI. So why do you keep calling them the Men in Black? And then you say X, Y, and Z. But you already said it was Stork and and, and I think McCabe and and Comey. So why do you keep calling them X, Y, and Z? This dude is super weird. Mental illness is real. Mm-hmm. You, how do you say that woman's name? Maria, what? I've Butina. heard. I've heard Butina. I've been watching that Netflix docu series, The Family, mm-hmm. which everyone needs to watch. It's incredible. And so they refer to her as Butina, and I like saying it that way. No, no. I was just asking because if he was dating her, then he would know how to say her name, right? Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure. I, yeah. yeah. We're. La- I mean, we laugh and I'm joking, but I'm like, mental illness 
is real like this man but this is this is what i was going to say and i'll and i'll end donald trump looks like that every day and there are people who are like this is my leader. Mm -hmm. But we are laughing at the man, the overstock man. This man said, Patrick Buse, hold my beer and look at him, right? Yeah, He's yeah, doing yeah. all this unhinged stuff because mental illness is real and we keep we keep downplaying it. Well, Butina's uh, lawyer uh, has responded to the story and did confirm that they had a three year on and off relationship. Okay. Butina also had a relationship with a Republican operative. Yes. She also went to the meetings of the NRA and the and the prayer breakfast. That's the fellowship and the family. And then Anna's referring to when asked, her lawyer said, well, she was just an ambitious person hoping to advance her career by improving relations between the United States and Russia. Wow, just that's by herself, shame. right? No, no, that's sleeping with the Republican operatives and people working with uh, the, the FBI NRA. and NRA, mm -hmm. going to all these things. A Russian operative? No, 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 just all coincidence. Just an ambitious young lady. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, then you're a TYT subscriber, and second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.